event. I have been running this event for. Oh, sorry. Thanks, uh, Stefan. <laughs> I forgot I was recording. Uh, I have been running this event uh, for almost eight years. It's a fun event. Kids always like it. It's exciting. Uh, so hopefully uh, this year will be another great year for this event. Uh, one of the things I really wanted to mention before I even start this, uh, ask you guys is, uh, are any of you a return coach for this event, if it is, then just raise your hands. Uh, just makes it a, a little, uh, you know, easier for me to go with. Hey, how many people really did this event before? So I do see few folks here that have raised their hands. So that's awesome. At least uh, everybody's not new, sir. Great. Uh, so the the format that I would like to go with this one. If you have any questions, uh, let's keep it till the end. Probably I'll go like about. 15 minutes minutes uh, just walking through some of the rules and some of the things that I've seen in past when it uh, when the event is ran and you know what are the some of the pitfalls on it uh, where kids really uh, you know kind of misunderstand stuff the coaches misunderstand so I want to make sure coaches have all the their questions and uh, any clarifications they need they can always come uh, off mute or put in text or chat uh, Please raise your hands uh, if you have any questions and I'll I'll definitely I'm here to address it. I will also stay longer if needed to, so do not hesitate on that either. A uh, couple things uh, you can always send any clarification questions to the uh, uh, from the Macomb uh, SO.org site. I am going to quickly share a few things here uh, before we get started on so here I, I don't know if you if you have not seen the Rasm Macomb SO dot org site, sciencelympia.org site. Uh, and here is our event. Uh, you can go to the event page. There is a quick start kit available, which I wanted to put up front here. Uh, basically, that will provide you enough. Uh, there are two two models. Basically, there is a, I believe, eighteen dollar and thirty two dollar. The eighteen dollar one provides you enough to do ten practice rounds, and uh, twenty two. I mean, sorry, thirty two dollar one provides you enough to do, I believe, twenty. Also, there is a alternate a pine car source, which means you can purchase the pine car if you don't have it or if you're not. Uh, Bought it from your previous years, or uh, you know, if you have it from your previous years, it's it's not changed. It's the same, so feel free use the same one. If you want to keep an extra, you can always order it through the uh, uh, through the Science Olympiad site. All right, so that said, I am going to go and start with the uh, one second here. OK, so some of the basic rules, right, uh, that I wanted to go over because, uh, you know, the, the rules are the key here. There are quite a few rules here, so I want to make sure you are aware of it. Uh, generally, what happens is when the students come in, they will get first 20 minutes to build. So we may have two or three different sessions for build, and there may be any, you know, in, in finals uh, there will be uh, the May 11th uh, event, there will be any uh, anywhere between 30 to 40 teams that will be building at the same time. We will have enough volunteers to basically time on it because really uh, you have 20 minutes to build uh, the the car. Uh, after all the build is done for all the teams, we will uh, have a time schedule on your on on your event uh, day that will allow you to come in and run on the ramp. We that's kind of an open event in terms uh, where you know uh, they, you can come in anytime between let's say eleven and two and run the car. Uh, that again it says fifteen minutes, not necessarily takes fifteen minutes. It all depends. Uh, you know if you're going through one or three rounds, but. Uh, you know, you generally have, you know, uh, unlimited time to run the, uh, you know, uh, run the run the car on the ramp. Uh, team size will be about one to two students, no more than two. 
uh, the construction, everything is going to be provided to you during the event. Uh, you know, the pine car and all the materials that are required to build a car. Uh, we have this guidelines, I would uh, say, is to these are the maximum number of uh, items that will be give, uh, that will be there, right? Uh, maximum. What that means is I have the ability before any team starts building, and that's going to be the same for all the teams. I have the ability to remove up to three items in full or in partial. So just to clarify that, I have four cotton balls. I can say I'm going to remove all the cotton balls or I can say I am removing two cotton balls, right? And up to three items out of these uh, that will be removed. The only thing that will not be removed is a paper bag. Everybody's going to get a paper lunch bag that is not going to be removed and it's always going to be there for that for uh, for every event. Uh, we will be providing you with a large grade A eggs and it's been consistent with every team that will participate will get eggs that are large grade eggs. Uh, again, uh, we will be providing you with one or two eggs depending on uh, how you want to run, right? If you say I need only one egg, great. If you want with two eggs, you can run with two eggs. There, There is no penalty in taking the second egg. If you decide to build a structure, but you did not get enough time to build the way you wanted to build with two eggs, or you can say I'm not going to run with the second egg. I'm just going to use the first egg. There is no penalty on taking the second egg and not using the second egg. So just to clarify that, uh, the only things you're allowed to bring is pair of scissors, ruler, two pencils, pair of pliers. No other tools are allowed uh, our materials are allowed to uh, to be brought into the uh, for, uh, during the event. Uh, each team will be given 20 minutes. Once the build is done, they will go on on uh, and we'll have volunteers that will you know direct them to go to a place where they can put their uh, structure. It will be in the tray. Everything will remain in the tray. We will be providing the tray with all the materials and the pine car and the scoring sheets and everything. And they will at the end of the build, everything goes back into the tray and the tray is put in the side where nobody can touch or uh, nobody can, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, do anything with the structure. Uh, going back. Uh, so the, the way the event works, right, is you have three different ramps. Uh, the ramp one, uh, and, and, and the three different ramps can be any angle between zero to 60. I can set one ramp at 35, the other ramp at 45, and the third ramp at 60. That will be also known at the day of the event as to what I have set it up for the angle. Uh, Again, um, so also when you practice, make sure you're practicing with the different angles because I can go up to 60 degrees uh, for 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 the ramp. Uh, and generally, uh, you know, it, it's not going to be all three. All three of them, I won't do 60. It's no fun, right? So generally, it's going to be you know right between 30 to 40, 40 to 50, and 50 to 60. Uh, that's kind of the angle for all three ramps. Uh, they. OK, well, a couple, couple things, a uh, couple more things here when they come to run the ramp right before running the ramp, they will bring what they've built to the inspection table. I'll make sure there is nothing that touches the ramp or that's slowing down the pine car from going down the ramp, which means commonly seen is there are you know thread there is balloon that's hanging down and it's basically touching the ramp uh, I will have to send them back at that point and they'll have two minutes to basically go fix it you know some and most of the time it's it's like a thread that's you know hanging down and touching what happens is your time is critical right because 
time is always going to be the tiebreaker. So we want to make sure if you build it in four minutes, right? You don't want to add another minute to it because there was a threat that's hanging. So make sure uh, when you do coach uh, that they nothing is hanging, they cut all the loose ends and then come, you know, uh, bef during the build time and not after. Uh, otherwise, they'll have two minutes, uh, uh, two minutes penalty on the, uh, you know, on the time. They can either run with one ram, uh, one egg, two eggs. Uh, again, both the eggs has to be visible. When I say visible, it cannot be wrapped. Uh, how many times I've seen in past events where, uh, you know, uh, kids take the egg, wrap it up with a foil, and then try to run the ramp and then they come to me and take the egg out and you know I can't see the egg so that that will be called as no run which means you lose all the points and won't be allowed to run on the second ramp so I would highly suggest you make sure you are not wrapping the egg and you're keeping the egg open so when the, the they run down the ramp and basically you know the egg should be free flowing. So and I'll, I'll show you a quick video on it uh, just to make sure you know uh, you're very clear. The egg has to come down free flowing. It cannot be somebody putting their hands into the structure to take the egg out. Uh, the egg should be coming down free flowing and uh, it should you know, basically make sure the egg is not cracked, leaking, right? Even though it is not completely broken, but if I do see a leak on it, uh, that will be uh, basically the end of the ramp for them, or they can move to, to another ramp. The second thing that I've commonly seen is, uh, you know, a structure falling off the ramp. That is perfectly fine. It falls off the ramp as far as the egg is inside the structure. They can scoop it up or they can just bring it to me and take the egg out. If the egg comes out of the structure, uh, when it's at the bottom of the ramp uh, or, or if, if it's outside the ramp, it will be considered as uh, as the end of the ramp. Uh, again, um, you have an option. You have three ramps to run. You can run the first ramp with two eggs and the second ramp you can say, I don't think my structure will hold. And that's the decision the kids have to make during the ramp. Uh, during the run of the ramp where they will run their first ramp. Both the eggs survive. They didn't, don't think they'll run the second ramp uh, with both the eggs. They can only run with one egg and don't have to run with the two eggs because there is a negative marking on the passenger egg, which is a second egg, right? Each egg will be marked as driver and passenger to identify which is the egg that they're running as driver and passenger. The key point here is you may run driver egg, but for any reason, if if you run the passenger egg is intact, you get points, but if it's broken or leaking, you do get negative points. So you want to make sure uh, you have, you know, the kids are aware of little strategy as to, hey, do they think they will be able to run the second ramp without any issues? Uh, I'm sorry, second ramp without any issues with the passenger egg. They can run it. If not, they don't have to run with it. All right. Uh, so that that's a big, big piece from a scoring perspective to make sure they are running the ramps, uh, uh, you know, as planned. Uh, you know, again, uh, one of the other thing is. The parents are not allowed or the coaches are not allowed in when they are building the ramp and running the ramp. Said that I do allow them to stay and watch right the event, uh, which means basically you can't be, you know, you know, the parents can't be yelling or the coaches can't be yelling and saying, hey, you know, run two ramps, run one ramp, run two eggs, uh, you know, build this car this way. You know, they will be penalized and they will not be allowed to run. So make sure uh, you can enjoy watching it and taking videos and pictures and whatever you want, but uh, please do not uh, guide them when they are really in the event. Uh, 
Uh, I'm just thinking, is there anything else I wanted to go over here? All right, so what I want to do next is I do want to show you a quick video here and I may give me a second. I may have to share. And. OK. So before I do, can can you hear? Can were you able? Stefan, can you confirm you for you able to hear the sound? Uh, I was not getting sound. OK, that's fine. No, it's, it's a YouTube, right? So it's always a problem with YouTube. Uh, let me try. OK, perfect, Cynthia. Let me try this. OK. All right, I OK, you should be able to hear now. About the crash car event had to do with a phrase in the rules about students removing the egg by inverting the car. We get questions like, can it be rotated sideways? Can it be flipped backwards? Can it be shaken? Don't overthink this, it's really very simple. The objective is to keep teams from building a structure where the egg is nestled in a cocoon that has to be open to remove the egg. Before your team makes their first drop, they place their car on a short section of ramp to make sure there's nothing dragging on the ramp to slow the car down. If there is a problem, the team has two minutes to correct it. Our event supervisor is very experienced and he's a great guy. He wants the kids to be successful and have fun. After they've driven down the ramp, the team carries their car over to the judges table. Students are the only ones allowed to touch their egg and their car. So this is pretty important where I was saying it needs to be coming as a free flow. It has to come out and I can I should be able to see the egg and it should be coming out easily. I've seen kids tying up so hard and it's taking longer to take out and we don't allow that. The other piece here was whatever comes out stays out they cannot go fix it back once they start running the ramp so if the balloon came out it stays out you can't put it back all right i hope you guys were able to watch this and uh Okay. All right, so I will be taking questions at this point. Uh, if you do have questions, feel free. Okay, there was the first question. Yes, I will be dropping. I will drop the link to the main page where this video is located. And you should be able to find several videos. Uh, I like this video in particular because it, it shows all the details of it, but there are quite a few training videos that are available here. Um, although I do know that. We, oops. So there are there are some videos, sorry, there are some videos here that are showing showing kind of the egg piece of it where it's kind of tied in which we don't really allow uh but again this is just an example of uh, you know building and running it so 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 any questions i can take do we build our ramp to test at home yes so uh, uh, unfortunately, ramps, I don't believe that's for poaches. There, I'm, I'm pointing your crash car ramp building instructions. You can build the ramp and run it uh, for practice things. We do not, uh, yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to purchase a ramp. Now, I've seen a lot of schools uh, have done this event previously, and they may have an existing ramp that you can leverage. Uh, yes, the document I read through is also available. 
it is the event rules right here. Everything that we talked about is on the Macomb Science Olympiad website. The event rules is where what I was uh, going over here. Uh, are the kids allowed to bring notes or notebook to the build? Unfortunately, uh, they will not be allowed to bring any notes or notebook uh, to build the ramp. Uh, or during the build or or even during the ramp, running the ramp. Uh, uh, generally, I'll, I'll tell you they have 20 minutes. Uh, just for some information, right? The lowest build time has been right around a minute, right? So if, you know, they will have to put their strategy, right? So, uh, you know, and that's where the practice comes very, very handy just because, uh, you wouldn't know if the cotton balls or the balloons or you know whatever it is you know or, or the cards right what's going to get eliminated so you may want to practice with uh, a few different options to make sure they uh, you know they they can do it without certain uh, materials there uh if you we have questions for you after today yes you can contact me uh you can contact through the website Right, uh, ask your rules clarification question here. You can definitely, I I usually get back in 24 hours. Sometimes it may be a few days, but I will be responding. I would also suggest you to go over these FAQs for past eight years. Uh, everything we found uh, was all put in this FAQ. So, uh, you know, again, uh, the FAQs are very detailed, and if you don't find, if you still need clarification, feel free to ask questions. One thing I've seen consistently as a question coming up, when they build the structure and when they come, they run through the ramp one, they come to me, the, the egg is so tightly put into the structure, uh, it's, you know, the only way you could do is put your hands in which we don't allow and I allow them to wiggle a few times to see if the egg comes out, but I cannot allow them to spend, you know, 30 seconds or a minute trying to wiggle, 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 because in most scenario when you're trying to wiggle, you're going to, you know, your parts are going to come out, right? So you really want to make it as easy for egg to come out than trying to, you know, wrap and tighten up the egg into the structure. Uh, I noticed that in the video you couldn't see the egg, but it rolled out when the car was tipped. Is it OK that you don't see the egg? Yes, it is perfectly fine for me not to see the egg. As far as they, the egg is free flowing, coming out of the structure into their hands, the other other note here as how many times I cannot say how many times I've seen where the kids, the, you know, I mean, it's a teamwork, a very important teamwork, right? If you have a pair of two uh, team members, let's use them both because if one is trying with their structure in the hand and with the other hand trying to catch the egg, your chances are it will, it will drop and it will break, right? So making sure the other person is, uh, you know, I they leverage t-shirts, right? So they can they can hold the t-shirt and let the egg drop into the t-shirt, and basically, you know, uh, they'll make sure I'll make sure it's not. Uh, they'll put it on a towel on the table, and if there's no leak or something, they can run for their second ramp. But the egg will be secure. Now, one more clarification I want to make is at any point once we give you the egg. Egg is your responsibility or the team's responsibility, which means if the egg drops or breaks at any point, at in any way, you know, we do not provide you the alternate egg, right? Uh, I know I've seen so many times the kids crying just because of the teamwork. They did not, uh, you know, secure their egg. Until they come to the ramp, they don't need to, you know, uh, touch the egg other than trying to put it down and stuff. So what I, I have suggested what other kids have done in past is bringing a small carton of uh, egg case, which is like six is probably the most it will fit into that tray. Everything should be fitting into the tray. So I would say if you have a six uh, 
uh, six egg carton or break that 12 into six and uh, bring it and that way they can put the egg there so there are no chances of breaking it or I've seen kids bringing in uh, other things to make sure the eggs are secure that stays inside the tray. Uh, may, may the students bring any type of pliers to the event? Yes, as far as the plier fits into the board that we give them or the box we give them, it's a, a small box. Uh, are the students supposed to be in this meeting? Uh, probably not. Students don't need to be in the meeting. It's it's more for the coaches. So if you know uh, when you when you train them and educate them is uh, what's going to be important. Uh, does the Pinewood Derby car come pre-built with the wheels? Yes, the pine car, the pine car will come pre-built uh, with everything you need. Uh, oh, uh, OK, for competition, yes, everything will be pre-built. You will be given the pine car with the wheels. They don't have to do anything. So they, you know, the wheels are already built in and everything. Uh, they can start with two eggs, but uh, you said when they start with two eggs, but when they go to the ramp, they can only have to use one, correct? Yes, they can use two eggs or one egg, right? Taking an egg is not a penalty, so if they decide they just want to run, they, they took passenger and driver, driver and passenger both the eggs, but when they build the structure and because they may not have enough time or whatever reason, they didn't think about the right parts, uh, they didn't plan. So they may say, no, no, this structure is not going to live with two eggs. Let's just run one egg, which is going to be the driver egg. The key here, the driver egg should survive, else you can't go to the next ramp. So just for again clarification, if you have a driver egg, ramp one, you're running ramp one. If your driver egg survived, and passengers survived, you get to run to second ramp. Uh, if your driver egg broke, but passenger egg survived, you cannot run ramp two, right? Although the scoring will count, right? You will get 55 points, but you cannot run ramp two. So for in order for you to proceed to the next ramp, driver egg has to be intact. Uh, can they bring fake eggs to help with their build? Uh, they don't need to, we'll be giving them real egg. Okay, so they cannot bring fake eggs. They will be provided eggs before they start building the event. So at that point, they have to decide if they're going to be one egg, two eggs, you know, you know, whatever, right? They cannot bring ball or anything. The only thing that they can bring is lists is basically listed in here, right? As to what things they can bring here, right? So make sure they don't have anything other than these. Otherwise, they will not be allowed. Uh, when do they mark the eggs? Say they won't be marking the eggs. It's uh, before they are given the egg. We will be marking the egg as a driver D or P for passenger and giving them. Uh, at that point, they will they will have both the eggs. OK, I think I probably answered almost everything here. Any other questions or clarifications? If you want, uh, feel free to come off mute. Uh, if you have questions, do not hesitate. Come off mute. Uh, I know sometimes you can't see the text or chat, so feel free to come off mute. So again, I'll remember the quick start kits are available to you through the website. Uh, you you will have you know about ten of. Uh, sorry. You will have the smaller kits will have ten of these items here, and the larger kits will have twenty of uh, these items here. Twenty. You can practice twenty rounds. So, uh, you know. I, I, another thing I want to. If you don't want to buy kids, perfectly fine. You can go to Walmart. Everything is bought from Walmart. You can buy everything. Uh, you know. So again, what I've seen, what we have seen is, uh, the kids are better because it'll probably cost you more to get uh, the supplies from the Walmart than 
than the kids. So uh, that's why one of the things we started was uh, providing kits to make it easier for the team. Any any other questions that comes up? I would again remind you there are a lot of FAQs. Uh, you know, feel free go over each of them. There are quite a few different questions that were asked, uh, and uh, you know that will help you to uh, get started with the with the practice stuff. Now the eggs will be provided to you. Do not bring need to bring again. Uh, make sure you have your tools. In finals, we generally have about 40 teams coming in to do the build. I've seen kids forgetting their their tools and then they are scrambling and we don't keep any spare. So I would highly suggest to make sure they have it because otherwise they will not be able to even do the build. All right. Any other questions? Any 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 clarifications? I will be here for another few minutes. If anybody has, please feel free to come off mute, put in the chat. But if not, uh, thank you everyone. Appreciate your time and good luck and feel free to contact us if you have anything. Uh, feel free. Do not hesitate and it's a fun a event. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, I just had a quick question about sure. the ramp. Um, is it a straight ramp or is there a slope on it? So the ramp will be straight, but it will be built on the slope, right? So as you saw on on uh, you know on the video, right? Um, to try and uh, see if I can put the This is not the right one. Uh, I'm trying. So here, here is a quick video of what you should be able to expect, right? The ramp will be straight. It will be on an angle that will be there, right? From zero to 60 degrees. Oh. Uh, and that we won't know that till right before the event. Exactly. Oh. Yep. You will probably not. You we 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 don't disclose that, right? So it's it's going to be the day of the event, and I so I usually suggest that you practice up to sixty degrees, because uh, depending on how the practice run goes, uh, I will go up to sixty degrees. Uh, I mean, when I say up to the third ramp would be sixty degrees, but other ramp can vary, right? So. Again, uh, I would suggest to go to 60 degrees. So then the difference from ramp one to two to three is the length of the ramp because the angle. No, be it's the angle okay. of the ramp. The length will oh. remain the same, right? Okay. It's the angle that can be anywhere between oh. zero to 60. So I oh. generally I, I do 30 to 40, the ramp one, 40 to 50, ramp two and 50 to 60, ramp three. OK, thank you so much. Yeah, anytime. Feel free. Yeah, so great questions, right? So please uh, do not hesitate. If you have questions, bring it up. I mean, uh, this is your chance. This is your time. All right, everyone, appreciate your time and thank you for staying with me here. Uh, feel free to, you know, send us a message if you if you have anything uh, you need to clarify.